welcome back to my channel and today we are going to do January favorites I've never done a favorites video on my channel before and today is going to be a first. Notice anything different? Yes, you guessed it, my hair. Isn't it cute? I absolutely love it. I'm probably not going to have any, I'm not gonna have any hair left if I kept touching, if I, if I keep touching it. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. January favorites. Today we're going to talk about all the things I love, all the things that I've read and that I'm using in January, including this cute little mug. It's adorable. Oh, <laughs> I've been waiting to tell you guys about this book. First of all, I want to say Mary from the MP Binder group. Thank you so much for pointing out how amazing, how awesome this book is. Um, Practice Guidelines for Family Nurse Practitioners is the best book ever. I mean, I cannot put it down. Out of, I don't wanna say out of all of my books because I love them all, but this is one of the top books. One of my top, I would recommend that every nurse practitioner have one of these. I mean, this book is amazing. So it starts out with, well, first of all, let me say that I bought the book from Amazon. It was like $70 or $77. I will put the link in the description box. Some things I love about it. I love the layout. It's very, it's really easy to find what you need to. The layout for practice guidelines for the family nurse practitioner is amazing. First of all, it starts with the history and physical exam. And so I went from the very beginning of the book and I'm halfway through the book. I've almost read the entire book and I've highlighted all through it. It started with adult assessment and I really liked the reminders. When I read through adult assessment, I was able to immediately kind of pick up on some things that I want to incorporate into my adult assessments. It was like reminders. I almost felt like I was back in school learning health assessment and I thought it was amazing. And then after adult assessment, it goes adult assessment, pediatric assessment, geriatric assessment, and then comes the lab and diagnostic pearls. So I really like that. So I'll show you guys here. It just starts with the chief complaint and um, it goes on down. So great reminders for new nurse practitioners and nurse practitioner students. If I had this book in NP school, it would have saved me so much time. If you're a nurse practitioner student, you should have a copy of this book hands down. I think some programs require this book, but it was not a requirement for the program I was in. So I really didn't know about this book and I am just enjoying every minute of reading it. So after going through the assessments, it starts out with the assessments. Then this chapter here is, this chapter is everything. The laboratory and diagnostic pearls. You can see that I've started highlighting a lot of stuff in the book already, but I'll give you guys just an example from the from chapter four, the laboratory and diagnostic pearls. It breaks down a CBC. As a practicing nurse practitioner, you're going to be doing a lot of those and you need to understand exactly what you're looking at, what you're looking for, what certain things mean. The book is really amazing. It's very thorough. It pretty much covers everything. And to give you guys a little rundown, um, some of the chapters, you've got skin conditions, you've got respiratory conditions, you've got ear 
eye, ear, nose, and throat, cardiovascular, peripheral vascular, abdominal. So the book covers everything. And I'm just going to show you guys how, as I've been going through the book, I have just been highlighting everything. I mean, I really like this chapter on abscesses, furuncles and carbuncles. I, I got so much from that. I see that a lot in practice. The book just takes you from A to Z. So if you're a new nurse practitioner, a nurse practitioner student, you need to have this, okay? This right here, thank me later. And I'm going to thank Mary again for recommending it. It's one of the best books I own. And I'm telling you guys, I don't think anyone can say that they don't like this book. So I think I've talked about this enough, enough for you guys to understand how important it is to own a copy. Next, if you guys follow me on Instagram and if you follow me on my Nurse Lotta Facebook page, you'll know that one of my weaknesses would be reading EKGs. I order them all the time and I feel like I need to be an expert in this area. Nurse practitioners should be an expert in the area of reading EKGs because if you order it, you should know how to interpret it. And I do know how to interpret them, but it makes me nervous. It makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable and I'm not 100% confident. I'm not completely confident when I read them. So I'm going to fix that. And you guys know how I am about facing your fears. So I am currently perfecting my interpretation of reading EKGs. I'm currently really researching this and reading a lot about it. So two of the books that I'm using, the rapid interpretation of EKGs, and the uh, EKG made incredibly easy. This book is really old. I bought this book like four years ago and it was just in my library. You see it's the third edition. I think there's a more recent edition that was released. But this book is, I love it. It makes things pretty easy for me to understand. So I really like this book. And so these are the two that I'm using right now. I'm not going to go too deep into what I've learned so far with the EKGs. I will say that I absolutely love these two books. They're, they're serving the purpose. And before I, I'm going to do a video just about the EKG stuff. And um, I'm waiting because there are like two more books that I want to get that have a lot of practice EKGs. And I really like that. In the Nurse Practitioner Binder Group, one of the members posted an email. She posted an e, um, a web address to uh, an EKG site. I think it was EKGs Made Easy or something like that. And I really like that site. I need to check it out further, but the post is in the Binder Group. And that site, from what I did when I looked, I really liked what I saw. And I like the practice EKGs. So that's something that I'm going to really look into. Okay, so enough of the books. Obviously, I'm a bookworm. And next, some things that I've done this month. I went to Target. I love Target. And I got a few cute little things. One, I have this pink clipboard. So cute. I think it was like $3. And the reason why I bought it is because I hate when I'm at work and I'm really, really busy and I need a patient to sign a document or whatever and I need a clipboard and I can't find one so I bought my own and I basically just I'm able to grab my clipboard from my box or wherever I have it and it saves me time I don't like looking for things yeah I don't <laughs> okay so I use my binder a lot and you guys know this is my binder I have a lot of stuff in here and when you use your binder a lot this happens <laughs> Now, I am a pretty organized person, and this irritates me. I, I don't like that the divider is broken. 
I could tape it together, but instead I just found these on sale at Target, these little dividers, and they're so cute. They were a dollar for five. So guys, if you want to get some dividers um, from Target, you can just go there and they have five and they have these really cute designs. So all I need is about five dividers. And yeah, these were a dollar. So, and they actually match my, they actually match my binder pretty well, good. I bought a few because I have quite a few different binders. So, so I even got these two. Those are really cute. But I did get, I think I got like five packs, just so that over time, whenever my dividers break or they just start looking ragged, I can just change them out. And the last two things I got, sometimes our front desk, I may need to give her a little note to say, hey, this patient didn't show up, can you call them or can you take them off of my schedule? And so I thought these were really cute. I found them at Target for $1.48 and I use sticky notes all the time at work. So I'm really excited about these. They're, I got two and they're little hearts. You guys know how I am about love and hearts. So um, one, one is pink and one is red and they were $1.48 so I just stick these in my bag and I use them at work. And then I also found these cute little note cards with the envelopes. I like to write letters. I'm not sure who I would write a letter to but just in case I have these and I really love them so yeah I bought these and they were a dollar so I just I thought they were so cute I just couldn't pass them up so yeah. That is what I have for January favorites. I hope this video helped and you can leave questions and comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.